Hello, welcome to this webinar. My name is Rebecca Barber. I'm one of the librarians here at the Australian National University Library. Um, I am the librarian for the College of Business and Economics and I'm going to share with you today um, some things that will help you find your find information to help you with your studies and find your textbooks online. So first up I will say that if you are off campus you need to log in before you can access our online resources. So when you are on the library's homepage and you click on a link to an ebook or to an e-journal it will ask you to log in using your U number and your password. Um, if you are having problems with your U number or your password, you can contact the um, ANU IT service desk and they will help you reset your password or fix any problems that you might be having logging in. And I'll show you where you can contact them. So I'm going to share my screen with you now and I'm going to hop over to the ANU's homepage. Here we are. So you've probably been here before, anu.edu.au. If you click on services and then information technology, there's a help and support link here. Um, and you can go through there and you can send an email to the IT service desk or you can give them a call and they can help you with your um, password or your uni number um, to help you log into the library's resources. Alrighty, I'm going to go to the library's homepage now. So you can see that there's a link here uh, that says library and that's on all the pages um, on the university's website. And this is the library's homepage. So the first thing I'll show you is um, you can log into the library before you get started if you want to. You should be prompted when you go to open an ebook or an e-journal, but if you're not, um, you can go to find and access here and then click on e-resources and databases. And then down the bottom here, there's a little paragraph about off-campus access. And if you click on this link here, it'll take you to a screen where you can log in. So mine's already logged in. So you can see there's no login here because I'm on campus. But when you try it from off campus, there should be um, a box for your U number and your password, and then you can log in, and then you should be authenticated as an ANU student, and you should be able to get into all our online resources. If you're having problems with this login, do contact the IT service desk um, where I just showed you to get access. So I'm going to hop back now to the library's homepage. And the first thing I'll show you is. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about the library for when you arrive here in Australia. So when you're on campus, the library has five physical buildings um, that house our collections. If you click on about here, you can see these are our different branches. So we have different buildings for different subject areas. So we have the art and music library. Chifley Library is where I work um, and that's where all the business and economics books are kept. So that will be your main library when you arrive here. The Hancock Library is our science library, the law library, and we have the Menzies Library, which is the Asia Pacific Specialist Library. And we also have an off-site store as well, where some of our collection is. Okay, um, I'm going to show you now how to find your textbooks through our catalogue. So I'm going to click here on catalogue search, and I'm going to search for um, Business Accounting, Business Reporting for Decision Making, which is one of our textbooks. And I'm going to click Go. So you can see here, these are the results. So this top one is from 2020. So we know it's the most recent um, edition of this book. Uh, and you can see here that it's an internet resource. So it's an ebook. Whereas this other one, from is an earlier edition from 2017 is it says it's printed material so it's a print book so we're going to go into the ebook so you just click on the link the title of the book and it gives you some more information about the book and it also gives you this link here to look at it so i'm going to open it into a new tab you don't have to but here's um, the book 
So you can click read online to get access to it, or you can scroll down and you can go into a particular chapter if there's a, a chapter that you've been told to read. Um, I would recommend reading it online and not downloading it. Uh, downloading it is a little bit tricky um, and it's hard to set up and there's not a great deal of advantage to it. Everything you can do when you download it, you can do when you're reading it online. And the download, you don't get it to keep it forever. It's just a loan. So you get to download it for only seven days and after that you won't have access to it. You have to download it again. So my recommendation to you would be to read it online. Um, you can download particular chapters if you want to, but there is a limit on how many you can download at one time. Okay, so that's how to get access to your textbooks. I'm going to hop back to the library's homepage now. Um, there's a, you might also like to look in your subject area for your course readings. So some lecturers make more readings available for students. Um, so if we go to new search here, and then there's a link here at the end that says course reserve. If you click on that tab, you can search for the readings that your lecturer has put in the library for you. Um, by either your lecturer's name or the course name. So you can type in the course or you can type in um, the course code, which I've done there. And if I click on search, so you can see here, this is the course, this is the course information, and these are the readings that are available for this course. So some of them have more, some of them have less, um, but you'll be able to have a look at them there. The next thing I'll show you is our subject guides. So these are guides that have been put together to get you started finding information on your particular topic. So I'm going to go back to the library's homepage by clicking on this library, word library up in the banner. And I'm going to scroll down um, and under library information here is a link to our subject guides. So you can see there's quite a few different subject areas, um, but we're going to go into arts and social sciences. And then there's two guides that are relevant for the College of Business and Economics. Um, the first one is Business Management and Accounting and the other one is Finance and Economics. So I'm going to show you Business Management and Accounting today. So I'll click on there and then it gives you a list down the left hand side of all different kinds of information sources that you can use through the library to do your assignments. So the first one is reference sources. So that includes dictionaries, encyclopedias and handbooks. Now these um, are good to, to get you started in a particular topic. They'll give you definitions, they'll give you background information, they'll give you the history of a topic and how it developed, who the key players are in that topic. Um, so they can be a good starting point to help you understand um, key concepts in that particular subject area. There's also a tab about books, how to find books. So there's search tips here about how to search the catalogue and there's also lists of subjects here you can click on and it will show you all the books with that sub about on that subject. Um, there's also databases so these are big online collections of things like journal articles, conference papers, case studies, books and book chapters um, and you can use that go in there and search for information that's going to help you do your assignments. Under journal articles is some tips for using super search to find journal articles and also a list of the top ranked journals in this subject area. So you can see these are some journals that you can go into and search for articles um, if you like. There's also data and statistical sources. So sometimes you have to find raw data and you need to analyze it in order to complete your assignments and these are some sources you can use to get access to that data. There's also research methodologies. If you're researching in these areas, open educational resources are free online resources um, on particular topics. So you can have a look in there, it includes lecture notes and textbooks and all kinds of things. Um, so these are the ones for business management and accounting. This is a list of um, places at ANU that are involved with business management and accounting, how to find theses 
how to request resources that the library may not have access to. So that could be useful for you to have a look at and also a contact us page. All right, so they, all the guides are organized very similarly, but of course they have different content in them according to their subject. So I'll hop back to the library's homepage now. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to use Super Search um, to find online information. So I'm going to search in the Super Search box and I'm going to search for project management and change. And then I'm going to click go. So it brings up all the resources it can find with these search terms. So it searches all of our databases, it searches the catalog, it searches um, the university's research repository. So you can see it's found 7 million results. That's a lot to look at. So we're not going to try and look at 7 million, but we're going to use these options down the left hand side to refine the search. Um, to narrow down our results and hopefully get more relevant ones. So while you're off campus, you might want to use this full text online option. So then everything in the list will be available online. So that can be a good option to narrow it down. You might also like to narrow down to scholarly and peer reviewed materials. Um, it's not necessary, but if your lecturer has said to you to just use peer reviewed sources, then you can use this peer reviewed um, limiter. So what that means is that uh, everything that comes back in a result has been reviewed by experts in the field who have read it and marked it and they think it's good enough to be published. So that's what the peer review process is. You can also link um, narrow down by content type. So if you're only interested in journal articles or newspaper articles or books. So if I click book and I've got full text online clicked, that means that it's only going to find ebooks. So that's a good way of finding ebooks if that's what you would like to do. Um, you can also click here, journal article, and then oh, and everything that comes back it will be a journal article. So once you've found an article um, that is going to be useful to you, so you can click on preview and you can read the abstract and from reading the abstract, you should be able to tell if something is useful or not. If you decide it is, you can either click on full text online to get access to it, or you can click on the title of the article and it takes you into our databases where the article lives. Um, and then you can read the full text online here, or you can download the PDF and save it to your computer and read it at your leisure. Um, it'll also give you suggestions for similar articles which may be useful for you as well. Okay, so that's a very brief session about how to find journal articles. Um, I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, you can get in touch with the library or with me personally. Um, or if you're having any problems finding information, please do get in touch with us and we'll do our very best to help you. So I'm going to hop back here to the library's homepage. Underneath this about link is key contacts and feedback. So if you go in there, you'll find our um, email addresses and our forms. And if you send that through, someone will answer you um, and do their very best to help you. And you can also give us a call if you want to talk to someone on the phone. Um, and here are my contact details. So you can send me an email or you can give me a call um, and I can help you with whatever problem you're having with the library resources. Okay, so thank you very much for watching today. I hope this has been useful for you and please do get in touch if you have any questions or concerns at all. Thank you.